drawing a liver cell. So start by drawing the um, body of the cell. I'm doing some squiggly lines up here. I'll tell you what they are in a minute. Maybe you know what they are. You really could put them anywhere on the exterior of the cell. But I've just popped them at the top. Next, I'm going to start drawing uh, a sort of a membrane here. See if you know what it is. We'll label a few things in a moment. Notice I'm leaving a gap between each of these. And I'm going to put a little black body in there. Okay, let's do some labeling. Uh, this is the cell membrane, of course. The structure I've drawn in the middle is the, the nucleus, and um, this is the nuclear membrane. The gaps in between are nuclear pores. And you know what the black body is? It's the nucleolus. I've actually forgotten to label the nucleus itself, but I could draw a line to the middle of the nucleus and say nucleus. These projections at the top are microvilli. I probably should actually label this microvillus, but I've written villi. They could probably be a bit smaller. The thing I'm drawing now is a mitochondrion, and it's very important to show two membranes. The outside membrane makes a kind of um, oblong shape, and the inside membrane has to show um, the different folds of what we call the cristae. Just drawing three of these, and I'll label one as a mitochondrion. Remember that the plural is mitochondria. Next, I'm going to do a structure just outside the nucleus. It's actually really closely associated with the nucleus. You need to make sure you draw it near the nucleus. So make sure you draw a few folds of this membrane. I'm going to put some dots all over it. Do you know what it is? It's the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough because it's got ribosomes stuck to the outside of it. I haven't actually labelled the ribosomes, but you could put a line to a ribosome saying attached ribosome. Next I'm drawing another folded membrane, which looks a lot like the rough endoplasmic reticulum, except it's smooth. It's further away from the nucleus, and it's the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Next, another bunch of membranes. Looks a bit like a stack of pancakes that are kind of bent upwards at the edges. It gets sort of a bit bigger towards the bottom. This is the Golgi apparatus. Now it doesn't need to be near the, the microvilli, it could, be, um, it could have been at the bottom of the cell. I just happened to have put it there. But it's usually further out than the endoplasmic reticulum. All of this apparently empty space here we can label as the cytoplasm. It's not really empty, there's lots going on. You can draw some little circles. These are all um, lysosomes, and they would be throughout the cell. And then just some little black dots. These are free ribosomes. In eukaryotes, they're 80S ribosomes. In prokaryotes, they're 70S. You probably don't need to label them as 80S ribosomes. You could just write ribosomes and that would probably be fine. And I'm just writing free next to it. There are other things you could add, but 
really most of these things will be only worth four or five marks. So you really just need to know how to do a few things and do them well.